Good morning. So I want to share out a First Samuel um, chapter eight, and I'm going to read verses nineteen through twenty. <clears throat> Nevertheless, the people refused to listen to the voice of Samuel, and they said, "No, but there shall be a king over us, that we also may be like all na all the nations, that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles." So, Samuel previously had warned the Israelites about what a king would do. You know, pretty much the king would take over everything. And, and, uh, and Samuel said, when, you, you know, the Lord says that when you cry out, you know, he won't hear your voice. You know, and the people's response was what I read to Samuel. So it's a it's a it's a sad thing because the Israelites, all we ever need is God and Jesus to be our our ultimate leader, to be our ultimate ruler. He's the one that we need to follow. We need to obey. That's all Israel ever needed. God had always provided for him. God had rescued him from Egypt. And it's just sad to think because of man's sinful nature. It wasn't good enough for him. They want to be just like everybody else. Now, just like in today's, today's world, we people tend to want to be just like everybody else. They want to conform to the worldly culture. This is this is kind of like, this is to me. This is what uh, is meant by conforming to culture, because everybody else is doing it. That's what that's what dictates what the culture is. Uh, the Israelites they weren't satisfied with having the best leader that they could ever have, which is God. They wanted a man over them because all everybody else had a king over them. And when you start conforming to being like everybody else, then you're going to start pushing God away for the sake of being for the sake of being like everybody else, for the sake of um, conforming to culture. And what happens when you start conforming to culture is that you stop listening to what God is saying. You stop... Being able to hear his voice. And then you start doing the things that. Are detestable to the Lord. Just for the sake of your self image. Compared to the rest of the world. God made us to stand out. To be the voice of truth. No matter how it's. Um, it's no matter how it screams out in opposition to what today's culture is you know if it's not in the Bible as truth it's not truth if it's in the Bible as being detestable on things, then it's detestable. You know, this this here, this word of God right here, never changes. It never changes. It doesn't conform to what man wants. It's the word of God. It's our instruction manual, if you will. That's what I've always heard uh, one of my favorite mentors, uh, mentors,
calls the Bible. It's like this is this is our instruction manual on life. Because it's the word of God. And we need to be careful and need but and need and we do not need to be like what the Israelites were in this day. And, and conform to what the culture dictates. Because when we do that, we lose God. And we fall right into the prey and the trap of the enemy. So, kind of a somber, serious, dark, I guess you could say, discussion. But... It's one that I felt needed to be talked about and that I needed to share. So, you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you tomorrow.